Hey, how's it going? Hi, yeah, I'm good. So, who is Victor? I love Victor. He used to work with me as some sort of intern. He was a wonderful assistant to me for my last show, actually. And I remember it was funny because with him I found that same energy that I had at the start of my career. He created such a great atmosphere. He gave it everything he had. He had this amazing energy when he put his mind to things, and I think he still has that. In that respect, I see myself in him. <laughs> That's absolutely right. He has this enthusiasm. He's both knowing and unknowing. You know, he dares and he does. And that's what we want, isn't it? Because, well, it's good for us. That's what we need. Time then to make way for the younger generation. At this year's Paris Fashion Week for next autumn winter, Victor Vincento is all passion and enthusiasm. The collection is called The Life We Deserve, or not. And it's a way of saying that each person has their own ambitions. I've been extremely lucky to work with Romain Eugène Campan, who's one of my very best friends, and who really helped me when I was setting up my label. He also made the print, derived from his paintings. So what you see there, the dress at the back, it's made from some offcuts of his paintings. We made the print from that, and then we assembled it. We had some fun with the pearls and other bits too. So it really is a bit of everything, all together. But that's the way we like it. And just like always, we're having fun with it. The label's getting more and more traction. How do you cope with that pressure? That's a good question. It's not easy. We won't lie. This is a very difficult profession. Every six months you have to give birth to this enormous baby. It's a lot of logistics, but yeah, there's so much going on, and we need so many people to help us. We don't even realize. But we have a very young team. Everyone's extremely motivated, passionate, people who help me every day to achieve our dreams. I'm extremely grateful to them. What a joy he is. He's a shining light for all of us in the fashion world. He has the extravagance you need, but also the talent you need to be able to shake things up and move them forward in this wonderful world. I'm following him since the beginning, and I think we need more people like him in all artistic circles. People who hold on to color, to sunshine, while also moving things onwards, innovating. Another hot name in the young and fabulous category this year was Vincent Prescia. He chose to reveal his collection in the building where Georges Bizet composed his opera Carmen, and which later became a brothel. It was an inspiration. I wanted to advocate for women speaking freely, women who are often shut down by a society that has a lot of issues. I think this space is really inspiring with its history. We spend so much time on social media, there's so much stuff going on, and we're judged around the clock. Social media says it's all about freedom, but at the end of the day, it's the opposite. It's the largest and shiniest prison that exists. Let's talk about the collection. These clothes are going to be warm. Absolutely. Well, we really made a call to be extravagant because I really wanted to offer an homage to Vivienne Westwood, who died not too long ago. She inspired me so much. We worked with the idea of a whole wardrobe, actually very Parisian in style, very bourgeois, 16th arrondissement. That idea we have in our minds. I was really inspired by the film Belle du Jour. You know, those little jackets, the trench we have in vinyl that we have also in cotton, that sort of thing. Don't worry about it. So that's the sort of thing we've done. Yeah, it's a very bourgeois look, but sort of upside down. And we also reworked some leopard skin with a lot of transparency to have a sexy little edge. Aren't you vegan friendly? No, all the leathers are vegan. Good to clarify. Oh yes, yes, it's all vegan leather. Yes, and even the velour, the velour you see here. You'd think it was horse hair maybe. It really looks like it's from an animal, but not at all. So actually, yeah, we're pretty vegan. Alice Vaillant, meanwhile, chose a chic school in Paris's 7th arrondissement for the backdrop to her show, a rebellion against constraint in all its forms. Absolutely. And there's a twist there. 
and it's something you really find in the detail. But actually, that's it. I think the most important thing is being able to feel great. A woman needs to feel beautiful and sexy without feeling naked or too much. Yes, it's about being without shame, about expressing our sensuality, expressing ourselves through our bodies, and most of all, making the most of what we want to make the most of. There, you have it. And I also think that we're not talking about an old-fashioned femininity that we've seen time and time again. At the start, Alice Vaillant was collecting lots of different lace-off cuts to take them apart and put them together in new shapes. So what we have are new structures. It's pretty modern while always holding on to that lace that already has so many associations, possibly with our mothers. A heady mixture of innovation and nostalgia, a pretty good blueprint for zeitgeist-friendly fashion that always has one eye trained firmly on the future. It's the world seen from Paris. Hi everyone, I'm François Picard. Join us for the France 24 debate, the crossroads between different perspectives, rival interests, and your feedback. Only on France 24 and France24.com.